girl, Drea, back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back, y'all, today. Well, actually, before I even get into this video, make sure you guys are like, commenting, and subscribing. Be sure to hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And yes, guys, thank you for tuning in every day this month so far for Vlogtober. I so very much appreciate it. I would very much like to be to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. So help your girl out and make sure you are subscribing and sharing my videos. So let's get into it, guys. I actually got this idea from a friend of mine. Excuse me, guys. I swear I always like overdo the lipstick and it just like be coming out on the corners and that don't look good. But I actually got this idea from a friend of mine which is to make a self-care jar. And I didn't really have a jar, but I got this mug that says Witch's Brew. And I'm just going to use this as my self-care jar. You know what I mean? I'm brewing up some, some self-care, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just sit over here. Hopefully, y'all can see it good enough. But, yeah, guys, so, I don't know. I uh, write my notebook ripped up some little um, pieces of paper and I'm just gonna write down what I want to put in my jar and whenever I feel as though I need some self-care I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna do it self-care is very very important and like I said you guys need to be nice to yourself I need to be nice to myself so self-care more more self-care and you know what I didn't really think about this but honestly I'm just gonna write things down that I like to do that make me feel good self-care you know what I mean so it's gonna be different for everyone the one thing I already do like twice a week guys and this is just because I like um, taking them <laughs> but I take baths like and you know of course at our grown age um, we mostly take showers but I take a lot of baths it's just soothing calms me down and I'm not gonna lie helps me sleep like it does for kids it makes you sleepy so I'd be knocked out so, um, of course, I'm going to put here, like, take a bath. But you know what, guys? I have been on my spiritual journey. And I really, really want to try to make a spiritual bath. So, I'm going to just do more research on that. And then maybe I'll vlog it for you guys so you can see, like, how I do it. But I really want to do a spiritual bath. I really do. So, I'm going to put take a bath and then I, I think on another one I'm going to do a spiritual bath so I'm right there guys this was such a good idea I was so happy when my friend was like oh you should definitely make a self-care jar because yes I feel like everybody should do that all right guys that's my first one and let's do spiritual bath Oh my goodness, I'm actually really excited to do this spiritual bath. I am. Um, I believe in a, a couple videos ago, guys, I was talking about how I started meditating. I've been meditating for a few weeks. And like I said, there's no right or wrong way to meditate. I'm still trying to figure out what works best for me. I've meditated outside. I've meditated in my room, in the living room, like just a quiet area. I even tried to meditate in the bathtub. And I think I want to really, really do that when I take the spiritual bath. So I'm going to write down meditate because I feel as though I need to meditate more. I know in um, my 10 goals for fall video, I said that, you know, I'm trying to wake up and meditate every morning. Lately, I have not been waking up early enough and I just don't have the time. But I need to really start making the time. Even if it's not in the morning, even if it's 10 minutes before bed, you know what I mean? So I'm going to write down meditate. Okay, guys, this is so. Y'all, y'all got to do this for real. All right. So what else, guys? What else do I like to do? Of course, I love getting my nails done. So maybe I'll say, um, get nails done because sometimes you know like that one week I had that one little um 
point in time where I wasn't getting my nails done for like a month. So if I would have pulled this out, I would have been like, I'm getting my nails done. My bad, y'all. My little shorty was calling me. But, um, yeah, guys. So, I'm just going to play get my nails done this one because, uh, like I said, I actually, right now, I, I need a fill. It's time. So, I need to make me a nail appointment. And I want to get some Halloween nails. So, I'll definitely be vlogging that for you guys. So, get my nails done. I don't know. Get my hair done. Let's say that. Or, or oh, I know. I know. Instead of saying get my hair done, maybe I'll say like try a new hairstyle. Yeah. I love doing that. Try a new hairstyle. All right, cool. That was a good idea. What else? Self-care, self-care. I feel as though like I need to really get my eyebrows done more. I mean, I kind of just like try to fill them in myself, but I just want to get them done. I don't know. I'm just trying to put a, a lot of stuff in here. So I'm going to say um, eyebrows. Oh, guys, another thing I wanted to really try is the, um, what is that called? I don't want to say the wrong thing, but basically getting... My lash is done. I am more of a strip lash girl. I am. I just do the strip lashes. But my sister, she actually gets her eye lashes done individually. And they last like two to three weeks. And I just, I don't know. I really want to try it. You know, she gets them wet and she sleeps in them. And I'm not going to hold y'all. I sleep in mine and get them wet too. And as they need to fix, I fix it. But I don't know. I just feel like I want to really try to get the individual eyelashes so we'll try that individual lashes oh i'm excited for that one. Oh, another thing i wanted to start doing because i still use a razor when i shave and razor bumps are killing me so i really want to start getting waxed like the full body wax or do I want a full body wax? I don't know. Oh, I don't have to like talk to somebody and see like what I should get exactly. Cause it'll be my first time. I've never been waxed before. So I don't know. I'm just going to put full body wax. Oh, I can't wait till I pull that one off the jar y'all. Cause what? Cause what? Yeah, I can't wait to do that one. All right. What else? Um, one thing I really love to do that I haven't done in a while, which is like not good, but I love to read. And I haven't read in so long. It's like, girl, what are you doing? If you guys can recommend any good books, please put it down in the comments. I, um, I actually have some in my Amazon cart that I want to order. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order those. And I just want to just set out some time to start reading again. You know, I just, I don't, I really don't know why I ever stopped. Honestly, like I, I don't know. So I'm going to start reading again. And I'm just going to put that in my jar. Go read a book. You know, I um, I think y'all know lie. the last book I read and I actually read it for like the third time because I don't know, it's such a good book. But the last book I read was um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I'm not going to hold you. That was like two years ago. If you have not read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I highly recommend it. Please go grab the book and read it. Matter of fact, I think I, I passed the book on. I gave it away like here. Read this book because, like I said, I, I read the book three times. So, definitely read that book. But, okay, let me put read a book. All right. And another thing that I have not been doing that I love to do is write. Guys, I love write. I love writing. Growing up, I always would, like, write, um...
poems and um i read a few a few plays that me and my siblings and cousins we would act out wrote some plays um what else did i used to write oh i, I started writing a few um movie scripts i have so many movies i movie ideas i just don't know where to go to pitch them where somebody's like not gonna steal my idea you know what i mean so but i just have so many like i remember, I remember um my one ex i had went to work one day and i came home and he was literally sitting there at the uh dining room table with my notebook reading my movie script like yo this is good like nigga why is you reading my shit <laughs> But when he said, I was like, oh, I appreciate it. Because honestly, I just love to write. So I wasn't thinking too much of it. But I be thinking of stuff and I just be wanting to write it down. And that's another thing. Like, I used to have a, a journal. I would just write down just how my day was going, how I was feeling. Go back to it. Try to uh, really, you know, change things if I was going through anything negative. I want to do all that again. So um, for one, I'm going to say, right, start writing. I don't know, but I really want to start writing again, guys. I really don't know why I stopped. Love writing. At one point, I <laughs> at one point I wanted to be a rapper. Um, even since high school, my my uh, rap name, y'all, was was Dre Skills. And I remember I would just always rap at the lunch table and stuff. Like, oh my goodness, they used to hype me up so much. I swear. And now I had my neighbor. He was um making beats so he made us a beat and put it on a cd and y'all oh my goodness i remember we had this one song it was called motherfuckers on my dick <laughs> oh my god me and my best friend at the time too funny oh I, I gotta find my old rap book from high school y'all i gotta find it i do all right that so um write more poetry uh about two years ago i have like i said everything was two years ago it's like when i stopped reading when i stopped writing when i stopped even um i wasn't rapping anymore but what i was doing heavy was spoken word and it's so funny because um i had a friend ask me like literally a week or two ago like why don't you rap no more why don't you do why don't you post no more videos are you doing spoken word anymore like honestly guys i think i'm just gonna say it i think i lost my confidence um once you know 2020 came and the whole pandemic went down I had gained in that year I gained a whole extra 40 pounds guys I've never been this big in my entire life but I've gained a whole 40 pounds and I'm not gonna lie I, I lost a lot of my confidence I did and I'm trying to get that back I, I, I don't know I feel like I'm I'm confident but I know I can be even more confident you know what I mean Working on myself every day, guys. That's why we have the self-care jar. Just got to work on ourselves. So, um, maybe, ooh, this could be a challenge for myself. I should post, I should write and post me doing spoken word just in a video. You know what I mean? So, let's put that down. Okay. <gasps> Guys, I used to love, I'm telling you, I used to love spoken word, you know, just writing, all that good stuff. Um, I still, to this day, I very much would like to go to some type of like poetry slam and do um, spoken word. I feel like I'm going to be nervous, but I just, I want to do it so bad. I want to do it. I meant to speak in front of people. I've always said this since I was young. Literally, you can ask my mom, my siblings, when they would be like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I literally used to say, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur. <laughs> like, not even fully knowing what that meant. But I remember when I got to high school and they offered like these um, business classes because I already knew I wanted to be a businesswoman. I always knew I wanted to be a businesswoman and I wanted to have my own business. I didn't want to work for nobody. So as soon as I seen that they offered like an entrepreneurship class in high school, I took that shit like and was excited about it. <laughs> Weird, I know, but no, nah, I, I still feel like that to this day. I don't want to work for nobody. I want to be a businesswoman. You know, I just I want to do all of it, all of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do all of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I'm definitely going to make that a challenge for myself. Like, girl, 
write some get the writing again find your find your mojo get the writing it doesn't, it doesn't even matter if it's bad at first and if i don't like it just keep writing and i'm gonna post something for you i'm gonna post spoken word for you i used to post it all the time i think the last one i did was back in 2020 it was through facebook this guy was holding like a spoken word challenge and people were sending him in you know a video of them doing spoken word and i won the little challenge so that was nice but that was the last time i even did anything like that like i want to do more and then it was so nice because my friend reached out he said hey i just uploaded a video i did my own little spoken word and i just wanted to do it because i seen yours and it really inspired me to go ahead and say mine i'm like you know what that is amazing that is amazing so i just want to do more stuff like that okay i've never really been too much like into facials but maybe i can try that one day get me like a facial and i actually do have like a couple um masks y'all i can never say masks right how do you say it masks whatever i have a, a few uh like face masks and i just never use them but I'll try. I just feel like I have very sensitive skin and I just don't be trying to do too much with my skin. Like when I tell you, if you were to ask me what my skincare routine is, I'm going to tell you Dove soap and water. And most of the time, not even Dove soap, it just be water. I swear. But, and then I put, um, what's that? I forget what it's called. It's like the cocoa butter lotion. I don't know. That's like the only thing I can use for my face that like don't break me out so y'all telling you but uh, i don't know maybe i'll try to get a uh like a skin tear routine but the reason why i don't is because i'm not about to fix nothing that's not broken <laughs> you know what i mean and y'all i'm not gonna lie like sometimes i'll be like oh my goodness what's all over my face what's on my face and when i get closer it's another mole popping up i got all these moles all these freckles i mean they're just everywhere so i'll be like i ain't breaking out that's just a bunch of beauty marks i'm just cute it's like don't let me stop <laughs> confidence you gotta talk to yourself like that i shouldn't have said it's like no just say yeah i'm cute period all right so what else y'all what else hmm one thing i love to do which i really need to stop but online shopping mainly clothes um sometimes i'll go and buy like hair because i want to try different hairstyles or stuff like that so if i pull it i'm going to do some retail retail therapy but only if i pull it only if i pull it because um like i said i'm trying to be smart with my money and save more so yes all right, guys, that was like the last little slip one I had. Maybe I should do, should I do one more? Y'all, oh my goodness, I'm getting old because I can't remember if I already talked about it or not. And I honestly, I'm going to say I didn't because I talked about med meditation. But what I really wanted to, um, what I really, really want to do, and I, I need to start doing this at least like two times a week is um, manifesting. I want to go and get a manifestation journal and really just, manifest manifest everything so i'm gonna put manifest down and like i said i can't remember if i already said this or not but if i did i'll just have to manifest in my care jar because you can't do too much manifesting you know what i mean so manifest so let me just say go out to eat how about with a friend? We can have some nice conversation with a friend. All right. Go to eat with a friend. Oh, look at my jar getting full, y'all. I'm excited. All right, go to eat with a friend and maybe watch a movie. Guys, I've been doing so much recording and focusing, oh, excuse me, focusing on everything that I want to do that I haven't really been able to watch TV. And if I do watch TV, it's with my little shorty and we watch a quick little show because that's all we really have time for since we're on like two different schedules. So 
I'm going to sit here and say, watch a movie. Self-care. Watch a movie. Y'all, I can't remember the last time I watched a movie. What? It's not good. Watch a movie. Even if it's with my daughter, we can have a little movie night. Oh, I would love that. All right, guys, I have one more paper left. One more left. Guys, okay, I know what I'm going to put for my last one. And I really don't do this too often um, at all. But I'm going to say have a glass of wine. It's just nice to have a glass of wine. Unwind. You know what I mean? I'm so used to on the weekends. All right, y'all, let's get our bottle and let's drink it up and pour it up. And <laughs> we're drunk in the club. I just want to have a glass of wine and sit down. So let's say have a glass of wine. Gee, all right. Guys, I don't know how many of those I, uh, how many I have, but it got to be close to 20, if not 20. All right, so that is it. Let's brew this up. Let's brew this up and uh, take care of myself. Guys, brew some stuff up and take care of yourself too. Because I'm telling you, I, I'm loving my friend for even giving me this idea because I so needed to do this. Like, But anyway, guys, that was the end of it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.